And then we have the life cycle, which this is where we load our, uh, or bring in our loads, which we will talk about it later on once we have a load. And then we have the PCB, the circuit card that we created. Under PCB, we have four menus, files, inputs, analysis, and results. Under files are what Sherlock has parsed as far as the uh, ODB information goes. You can see we have the component layers, we have the copper layer, six layers here, we have the drill hole, silk mask and uh, sol solder mask and, uh, and the silk, silk screen. And then under input, we have the parts list, which is a bill of material, stack up layers and the rest of the story, which we will cover those as well. And then once we are ready, we will run analysis and we can save the results here. Now, first thing first, let's just double click on the layers. You can either double click on the layers or double click on any of these uh, files that is listed here, it will open up the same uh, window, which we call layer viewer. Here you can see that we have a bunch of features on top here. You can hide components, keep the labels on, turn off labels, keep uh, components on. You can hide pretty much toggle on and off any of these, like axes on and off. Then you can, uh, under the layer menu, you can turn on and off the uh, the components on top or bottom, which is usually a good practice. I like to see only components on one side of the board. And then you have the silk screen, you can turn on and off. You have drill holes, you can turn on and off. And then uh, we have solder mask that we can turn on and off. Again, one layer at a time. I don't want to turn on top and bottom at the same time. And then if I turn off the solder mask here, we have the copper layers. Let me turn off my component. You can turn on your copper layers. The green is copper, not green is not copper. Here the gray is copper, not gray is not copper. You can turn all of these on at the same time, but again, not a good practice. It gets messy uh, too fast. And there are a bunch of other things at the bottom here, which uh, we will talk about some of those later on. If I turn on components on top, now we have a filter here. You can filter parts that is, show me anything that is bigger than five millimeter, enter. Show me anything that is bigger than five millimeter and has label U, enter. So this is how you can filter your, uh, your uh, board to make it easier to find what you're looking for. Now, you gotta make sure, or it's a good practice again, that you delete these the filters that you created. If you don't, if you just close this window and then reopen it, it's going to keep the filter on. So you may think that your, your uh, components are, are gone. So it's a good practice to just remove these and uh, then close that window. And on top of the layer viewer, again, we have a couple of these uh, drop down menus. Under file, you have export image, which is just exporting pretty much, it's, it's just a uh, a screenshot of your your board. You can do a screenshot with just a better uh, quality. Then uh, you have, let's talk about the view and then we'll talk about the edit. The under view is zoom in, zoom out and zoom fit, which is scroll up and down anyways. So nothing really special. 